There's been record attendance at the fair this year, both on the first day and the second day. And I can tell you, as things wrap up here on day three, that the fun on the stick is just getting started. We do this every year. There are giant slide rides. Look. I mean, it's obvious. And cookie wars brewing a few steps away. She comes out with like 24 more cookies than I do. She's my next door neighbor, and she's a little bitter that I got more cookies than her. <laughs> I mean, if they sucked, I wouldn't care. And as long as you keep talking to them, they keep loading them. At least no one's going hungry. The smoothie, I've had lemonade, I've had Coca-Cola, I've had root beer float. Cheese curds, tacos, turkey legs. Delicious, it's got a little sugary chocolatey thing around the rim. Giant pickle. You had a pickle? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Was it the deep fried one? No. Okay, good. You're gonna live. Favorite part of the fair is all the rides. Oh yeah, the rides. I've done it before. This was his first time. So. Uh, it was fun, but scary. <laughs> oh, this is Donkey. <laughs> Some are even making new friends. Yeah, he's from Area 51. Just the way it should be. Uh, just meeting people, talking to people, trying all the new foods, that's what I'm here for. The best part is we have nine more days to celebrate together here at the great Minnesota Get Together. Reporting at the State Fair, Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. So we need mushrooms. If anyone holds rank in this kitchen. Is the water boiling? It's Staff Sergeant Kalen Wahlberg. Two tablespoons. Taking orders is First Sergeant Jeremy Wahlberg and their son London. Because they're not going to learn unless they actually do it. The 16-year National Guard member will soon be deployed overseas for the first time doing human resources work. I'm excited to be part of the Army. I feel like you can't be part of the Army without a deployment. If the family is feeling any stress, it's because their rock will be gone for roughly a year. Just because she takes a lot of responsibilities on herself and a lot of things around the house and with the family in general as far as keeping things working well. What they're not trying to focus on is the conflict in Saudi Arabia where an oil refinery was bombed. Staff Sergeant Wahlberg will be stationed in Kuwait. Her husband served in Iraq during the Iraq war 12 years ago. Even though we're in the same, I was in the same kind of region that she's going to be going to in the Middle East, where she's going to be at versus where I was going to be at is like night and day difference. I take it all in stride and this stuff could happen anywhere. So, you know, when they talk about the front lines, the front lines are basically anywhere, even can be in your same, in your own country. The dangers of service are not lost on them. It's just part of the path they're both proud to walk. For us, it's just become not really a job, but more just a way of life, and it's just how, it's what we are. A family that's doing its best to enjoy a few more trips to the lake, vacations abroad, and, and dinners at home. Well, we hope that the people that are above us make the best decisions possible, and, and we do the right thing, and, and allows us to sleep at night. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News. As people walked along 25th and DuPont Avenue South, some couldn't help but notice a concerning set of signs. Very disturbing. Automatically you fear for your safety and the safety of your neighbors. Wonder like who's looking at you and who's been watching you. It's a warning about a peeping Tom. It was around this side. Who came face to face with Anna Poole, separated only by her bedroom window. She says she first heard the leaves rustling outside her house, then saw him watching her in bed. So at this point I'm like really scared. I'm just laying there like, oh my God, you know, what am I supposed to do in this situation? But then I just got out of my bed, banged on the window, yelled at him a little bit, and then he ran away. Poole like, says she right. later found a bench outside her and window, which she thinks the man was standing on. Them. The story sounds similar to what several women experienced nearly a year ago, a few blocks away. So this was the window and he had to kind of stand up and, and peer over. Gwyneth Armour then installed security cameras and asked her landlord to put up floodlights. Poole added motion sensing lights herself, as well as window locks and covers. Like a translucent window film to try to decrease visibility. And thanks to her signs, neighbors are also putting their safety first. I always carry pepper spray at night, but I've definitely been looking around behind me more and been a, more observant of who I see and, you know, based on the description posted and more aware of like who's around. In Minneapolis, Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News.